Y'all, what's going on? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this catfish, okay, first of all, I really kind of, first of all, let's give a shout out to fucking Max. Max came through with the clutch, okay? Max was not having it on this episode of Catfish, all right? This episode, um, what is this? Season 6, episode 9, Ari and Lana. Let me tell you some. Max said, bitch, what you won't do is stand up here and act like a dumb bitch, like you don't understand, okay? And I ain't gonna let her. Even if she was to say, yes, bitch, I won't let her. I said, Max! Ooh! I've never seen you so forceful. It sounded cute. Anyway, so... <laughs> We get this episode where the producers, one of the producers or whatever, sent them an email, you know, saying that they have um, two emails sent by two people that think that each other are catfishing, that the other is catfishing the other. You know what I'm saying? So first, they get this email. They read the email from this guy named Jeffrey. He said that his brother, he feels as though his brother is being catfished. His brother's name is Lanham and being catfished by this girl named Ariana. And so, after they get through reading his email, just so happened, her email pop up. And she was like, I know that um, he said that he was going to send a letter in and try to say that I'm catfish, but I am not catfish. And, you know, I've been talking to this guy for three fucking months, bitch, okay? And his brother, and I'm, I'm here for him, I love him, and all this stuff. And I said, bitch, you lost me. You lost me. Almost lost me when you said you loved him after three months. That's how I knew this episode was going to be some fuck shit, okay? But, oh, bitch, it's going to get some more. And so they was like, he was, she was like, girl, you can FaceTime me, okay? You can video chat me. We can do all of this, all of this. I want you guys to take a look at this episode, and I want you to do the do's and the don'ts of what not to do when you online date. Because this episode, out of all the catfish, this is one of those episodes that you is a teaching moment. Because, bitch, it was no green flags up in this bitch. Everything was red flag, red flag here, red flag there, okay? Even the fucking timeline was a goddamn red flag, all right? So, they was like, fuck it, bitch, let's video, take, uh, video chat with her. Get on, on the video thing. They was like, so you really Ariana? Come on, Ari, let's see your state ID. <laughs> I mean, I got my state ID. You want to see my state ID? Neve was like, yes, go get it. We got to make sure. She was like, because it's in my bag over there. He said, get your ass up and go get it. I said, wait a minute, y'all not playing today. It's like they was frustrated because after that day, she showed her ID and all this stuff. And she started going into details about what happened. Listen. So, what we found out is that she put up a dating profile on plentyoffish.com. Okay. And within either the day or the next day. The moment she put it up, within that day that she put it up, or the next day, she got hit up by this guy named Lana. Or she hit him up and said, oh, boo, you cute because you got these tattoos and all this stuff. And, you know, I just wanted to say that you look cute. I like your tattoos and all of this. And he was like, yo, girl, you know, thanks and all that stuff. And she was like, can I get your number? He was like, yeah, sure. Here's my number. What's yours? She was like, da-da-da-da. Okay, okay, cool. So they started clicking right in and out. Mind you, this is really interesting. Um, no, I'm surprised nobody touched on this because later on, you know, they go to her house and they get all this information from her. And, you know, she said the reason why she got on Plenty of Fish because they was looking at something else that she got from her ex-boyfriend. Her ex-boyfriend that she was dating of three years. And they recently broke up. And as soon as they broke up, this is when she got on her online, the dating app Plenty of Fish. I'm sitting here like, so nobody's going to mention the fact that this girl rushed into this whole thing because she was trying to get over another her relationship. That's probably the main reason why she got on here and the main reason why she did what she did. And you claim that you're in love and all this stuff so quick. Like, bitch, you not even over your three-year relationship unless that shit was just there and you was just settling and you was just doing it because you needed somebody to cuddle with. Bitch, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. And I know people say love at first sight. I'm just not one of those people that believe in that. You know, some people, because, well, for me, for me, let me just put that out there. Because some people say that shit happens. But, baby, I got to get to know you before I determine whether or not I'm going to fall in love with your ass or whatever. Okay? Hell no. But, what we already at? She was on Plenty of Fish. I have no, you know, qualms about people who get on um, dating apps and stuff like that to meet people. That's no problem. But if they can't video chat you, y'all can't talk. They can't talk on the phone. 
text you and video chat you, do all three of those things, not just one or two, but all three. Well, and I mean, the main one has to be video chat. Let that shit go. Okay. Let that shit go. Um, moving on from that. She says she gets on this thing. She gets hit up by him. Or they start conversing. And, uh, you know, as Beyonce say, Beyonce say, conversating, you know, um, a literate ass bitch. No, let me stop playing with my bitch. But y'all know she don't know too much about algebra. I said, bitch, where the R at? Where is the R in that word? Anyway, country ass. Moving on. She out there in California. So they talking. They talking, and they think, you know, he was supposed to meet up with her. They was He was supposed to fly out there to come kick it with her. He out there in Texas or whatever. Fine. She said all of a sudden, he want to say that mm, the day before that, that he's supposed to fly out to come meet her, his brother is in the hospital, and then next thing you know, she said that his brother died of a car accident. Then he texts back and said, no, bitch, she died of cancer. And I said, that's where you should have hung the shit up. Right then and there. Now, the whole time that this is going on, I am sitting here and I have forgot that they said that this was a relationship a span of three months. Okay? The way that they was, she was talking about this whole thing, and especially with all of a sudden want to meet up so quickly, you know, from a different state. Like, really, you act like, I mean, the way that she said it was almost as if, I'm in Chicago in Indiana, Hammond, Indiana, like, or Gary, Indiana. This, that don't take long. Or Maryville, Indiana, like, that's probably like an hour or less away, okay? You know, that's how she was saying the shit. No, bitch, you're in California. He's down in, in fucking Texas. And Texas is a big-ass state, and California is a big-ass state. I'm sitting here like, okay, how I forgot the timeline of this shit until Max and Nee said, let me see your phone so we can see all this stuff about the, um, you know, the, de the the brothers passing away and all this shit. They scroll. I said, first of all, they nosy as fuck. And I mean, had the nerve to read. First of all, if I'm going to let you see my shit, don't read the shit out loud. Okay? I'm already letting you see some stuff that I probably don't want nobody else to see. Like, this is between me and my eyes. All right? You know, be nasty over there, bitch. And you up here reading it out. Oh, just like the last time he was reading. Oh, and then they was um with the gay boy and, um... <laughs> The black guy, he was reading and, and saying it all. I said, his mama may be watching this. Why are you reading his shit out loud like that? But um, anyway, he reading the stuff, and he gets to the text, and he was like, damn, it's a whole bunch of text messages up in this bitch. I was like, yeah. Yeah, he, she was like, I mean, we text from morning to the time I wake up to the time we go to bed and all that stuff. We're always in constant communication. And see, this is where she had me fucked up, and I lost I didn't give shit what happened to her at this moment. You want to know what happened? Neva Max said, wait a minute. This is all in the span of the fourth day of you talking to each other? I said, excuse me? the f Not the fourth week? The fourth day? You're saying I love you. I'm here for you. Love you. Love you. Love you. I'm in love with you. Four days. No. Four days. Four. One, two, three. Four, okay or in brother man from the fifth floor four days bitch i'm sitting here like off a dating app that you never really probably didn't hear his voice yet you did say you called but you never saw his real face yet you don't really how much can you learn about a person unless through text messaging unless y'all been on the phone for an hour and for those whole four days he got to know every single thing about you, and you got to know every single thing about him. And she was like, even Neve was like, bitch, wait a minute, four fucking days, and you saying I love you? Max wanted to say, bitch, this is count. both of y'all fucked up. I just want to tell you that. Max had to put his stuff on mute, okay? Let Neve take this because he was going to say some stuff that he wasn't supposed to. Because, girl, I'm sitting here. She was like, what exactly was it about him that make you want to say that you love him after four days? I mean, it's the way that he talks to me, the way that he reassures me and does all this other stuff for me, like, I'm going through a whole bunch of stuff, and he just tells me everything is going to be okay. And I'm just sitting here like, a friend can do that too. 
you tell them that you're in love with them, a stranger can do that. You can call a hotline or whatever, and you're going to tell them that offers help that you love them too. Girl, what is going on? I said, see, you doing this. You acting out because you're not over this relationship. You just, you probably the type of person that just need to be in constant contact with another human body, okay? Or have somebody to talk to of the opposite sex. I don't know what the fuck it was, but bitch, four days, four fucking days, and then you still fucking around with him. What, three months later? First of all, three months, let's technically put it as, you know, three months equals 90 days. Okay, minus them four. So them other 86 days, you still went on ahead and fucking with him, even though he lied and switched up his story about how his brother died, first a car accident, then cancer. Bitch, and then you saying I love you in four days. Look at all these red flags coming up. Look at all these red flags, babies. Okay, I hope y'all learning. Don't fall for the fucking trap, bitch. And then, when they go do all this information, um, Neve was over it. When they finally get to the little coffee house, when they was going back over the facts before they start doing their little investigation, Max is reading down everything that we found out. Neve, did y'all notice Neve was like this? I said, Neve, roll your eyes one more time. Like, hit in his head. I could just read his thoughts going. Each, each eye roll was like, this bitch is dumb. I mean, I'm not trying to say that on camera and call it that directly, but God damn it, bitch. The flags are right there. Like, you, ugh, are you that desperate? Like, this is stupid. Like, bitch, you really waste our time. Now? I could have been at home sleep. You know what I'm saying? I just had a baby and all that stuff. Like, that's what his eyes was telling me, bitch. <laughs> he was over it. And then when they start going and Google searching the image, they find out that Lanham is not Lanham. Okay. Um, he has a fake, fake. A fake Facebook page, only 40 friends. The real person is actually a tattoo artist in Italy, okay? And when they go to fake Lanham page, he only has 40 people. They contact all his people. This one girl, Tiffany, hit him up and was like, yeah, I used to talk to Lanham on, um, online for the past, like, probably past couple of weeks or so. And we used to talk about all the sexual fantasies and stuff like that. And then when we were supposed to meet... And all of a sudden, he just ghosts me, you know? He he never really showed up or whatever. And he, they was like, did he tell you anything about a brother's, his brother's dying or whatever? And he was like, no, never told me nothing about that. Then another girl on the way to go talk to fucking Ari, another girl hit him up. Kylie was like, yeah, um, we talked like a month and a half ago. And, you know, hit him up on Pretty and Flatfish. And we were just kicking it. And we were supposed to meet. And then he, like, literally didn't show up. And I was like, oh, my God, why didn't you show up? And he was like, you know what, I'm catfish anyway. So it's cool. And he was talking about, he said he gave the same thing, saying that his brother, the day before, that his brother died of cancer. And I was sitting here like, y'all already know I don't have respect for anybody who lied about people passing away especially from an illness like cancer when you have so many people out here that are fighting for their lives okay and you want to pull this sick ass fucking joke just to get some sympathy and attention i have no sympathy no empathy no feelings of anything for you but bitch i want to curse you out that's it you don't deserve anything you don't play with death and shit like that but we'll get off that in a second i'm tired of getting on my speech my soapbox i'm gonna step down for a second and get back into this. So they was like, bitch, hmm, this motherfucker is playing games. So they figured out that Jeffrey has to be Lana. All right, so they give all this information to Ari. She looking all fucking hurt and shit. And I'm like, girl, you should have fucking known, okay? So it's like, let's just call this bitch. And they telling him what's going on. He was like, I mean, I like her. I love her. And, I mean, this just ain't the right time to see her. And, you know, I I didn't expect that y'all would actually, you know, call me. I thought when my brother sent that uh, email in, it was just off a whim and it wouldn't get to y'all so quick and all this shit. And he was like, let's just cut the shit, okay? We know that you are not Jeffrey. You are Lanham, okay? We know who it is. I already know who it is. I already know you was talking to other people while you was talking to her. And I said, if y'all was talking that much, how much was you talking to the other two girls that you was talking to while you was talking to her? Because y'all was talking every fucking minute of the damn day, bitch. Okay? And I said, this is the person that really ain't got shit else to do. Okay? Um. So, I was like, we gonna come down there and see you because we got to. You know, you at least deserve and owe her that. Okay? She, he was like, alright, fine. So, they fly down to the Texas. 
Ari knew it was going to be some bullshit. You want to know how she knew it was going to be some bullshit? Ari had a backpack that looked flat as fuck. Looked like it had a blouse, probably two pairs of underwear, and one pair of jeans that she probably wore one time, and that was it, bitch. That's it. She ain't had nothing else in that backpack. And, um, you know, I was sitting here like, girl, you know, you ready. You ready. You already know it's some fuck shit. Why you keep on going with this shit? You just wanted a trip out of the state? It's probably what it was. So they go down to Texas. They meet the person. Bitch, they get to the house. Knock, knock, knock. Because at first, when they went onto the um Facebook, they was looking at old boy um employment and date of graduation and all that stuff. And he said 2001. Max and Eve was like, wait a minute. I graduated from high school in 2000. And that makes him, what, 33? I said, oh, so y'all like 32 or some shit like that? 32, 34? 35? Okay, y'all okay. Okay, y'all decent. And then I said, hmm, okay. So this man is out here saying that he's 25 years old playing around. Girl, when they opened up that door, I said, you got to be kidding me, bitch. I screamed a little. I said, bitch, who the And who the fuck is this bitch, okay? Shout out to Friday. It's the anniversary. All right, that's a classic. Listen, girl, I said you got to be out your goddamn mind. This motherfucker came to the door looking like to catch a goddamn predator. That's who he looked like. He looked all type of pedophiles, all type of sick, all type of... That probably is, he probably got at least three grown-ass kids, okay? Or, or, or one in high school and two grown, okay? One high school, one college, and one already off in the work field. That's how old he looked. I said, bitch... What the fuck are you out here doing? Bitch, when he said he was 43 years old, I said, no the fuck. <laughs> no the fuck, you look at least 46. <laughs> you look almost 50, bitch. I don't understand what was going on. Ari was like, ain't this about a bitch? I said, girl, you should have. And I couldn't even feel bad for Ari. I didn't feel bad for her at nothing. Because, bitch, after four days and you talking about some I fucking love you, you lost all type of sympathies, bitch, with me, Okay child he was like you know i was just texting them hoes i was gonna get right back jay-z up in this shit you ain't have to get a player back like that i said no bitch what you want to do is try to downplay this shit and make it seem like oh i was just playing with them and i was just caught up in the moment of what uh kylie was doing you know she was sending me shit i was just you know curious about how far she was going mind you she got he got naked pictures and shit from these girls see that is the dangerous part about this shit when y'all be out here catfishing people or be on this stuff and y'all get catfish and y'all be you know sexting and doing all that stuff sending your pictures and stuff out and these bitches be fake as fuck ain't no telling what they gonna do to your pictures and that's what i was concerned about and i said is this motherfucker not concerned that people are gonna watch this and could recognize him and know that this motherfucker is crazy you could possibly lose your job you could possibly have people just looking at you like oh you should be on some type of predator list or whatever you know you just crazy like something just not right okay and he just kept on trying to say that he loved her everything that he was saying was real he wanted to be with her and uh, this is when Max had enough. Because at this point, Ari was like, why would you do some shit like this? You know this wasn't you. And you actually think that I was going to be with you? No. She said, let me go to the car. Need to go to the car. Max said, bitch, I'm going to handle this lightweight, okay? Let me handle this right there for you. First of fucking all, do you understand the severity of the shit that you did? You out here catfishing all these bitches because you fucking pissed? Because you ain't got shit to do? Because bitches ain't out here checking for you right now? Look at you, bitch. That's why. Straighten your ass up and then you can get some puss, okay? What you out here creating profile? I mean, I created it three years ago, December 10, 2000, this, and I just know that for sure, but uh, I just can't stop. It just got out of hand, and maybe I put this out here so I can get caught. That's what they said, so you can get caught to stop or whatever. I said, bitch, please. You could have, like they said, you could have Facebooked them. You could have Facebooked her and all that stuff and put it on Facebook and said that you was a catfish, okay? And that's how you could have ended this shit, bitch. I said, girl, what is your problem? Max said, and even if, I know you thinking that she might want to get with you or whatever, but she don't. I hope you understand that she don't. And even if she come back here and say that, yeah, I'll give your ass a try. I wouldn't fucking let her. I said, you better be daddy, Max. Be daddy, okay? He did turn into daddy. And I said, Max. You better tell that grown ass man what to do. Ooh. And I said, come through. Okay. He was like, fuck all this shit. Girl, when they came back up there the next day, 
this dude is still in his mindset that he gonna get with this girl. He said, hold on, I got something for you. Came back because early in the show, she said that he asked for her ring size. Came back with a fucking engagement ring. She was like, what the fuck you think I'm gonna do with that? Let me tell you this. Delete all my contact. Delete all my pictures. And I said, please tell them to delete that shit in front of y'all because that motherfucker, I hope they left. And once the cameras went down, they said, let's go through all your computers and stuff and make sure you delete everything. Because he the type of motherfucker, if he can figure out how to catfish on Facebook and use electronics and stuff, that motherfucker didn't duplicate them pictures, okay? He probably has, all right? I hope they went through and said, delete, 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 delete. Let's find every fucking file, computer, hardware, TV, everything. Now, how many phones you got? Delete, delete, delete. What phone is this? Open this shit up, bitch. Okay, let's delete that shit. That's my puss box right there. Delete that shit, bitch. Okay? I know how my areolas look. Delete that shit, okay? That's what it looked like. Y'all better have did that. Y'all better have did that. That girl, 21 years old, she said, this motherfucker older than my mama. I said, damn, your mama young. Okay, now, nah. hey, mama. And uh, he's still on this kick like he think he was going to get with her. Then did, did, did you hear when she said he was um texting her before, after they left the first time, talking about some, you know, he's starving and all this stuff. And then going to say, she said, I don't want nothing to do with you. He going to say some fuck you. I said, bitch, you got your goddamn nerves. You rude ho. Okay. You old ass rude ho. You rude for that. I said, you know what, Ari, just leave the shit alone. Ari was so fucking pissed, she didn't even contact Catfish to do a goddamn update. All we know was that she scrubbed all her shit off clean. You know, he took the Lanham profile down, and she ain't doing that online shit no more. I said, yeah, lesson fucking learned, bitch. Meet them hoes in person. <laughs> this episode made me chuckle so hard. I don't know why. His name was Marcus, too. I said, and then to be named fucking Marcus of all things. Bitch, I know a couple of Marcus and they don't act like this shit. Don't do the name disservice like this, okay? Y'all tell me how y'all felt about this episode and I will see you guys later. Peace.